Hello everyone, I'm Gunnix here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So in today's Halo 5 Forge creation review, I'm going to be taking a look at this creation called the Forerunner Stealth Ship. Hey everyone, I'm Gunnix here. So as of editing, I just wanted to record this little bit of audio just to say that I've actually already recorded this creation before it turns out. Back in 2018, I made a video called Halo 5 Forge Creations, my top 10 favorite creations made by Oni 77777777. Yes, I know that's a lot of sevens, but yeah, I actually did talk about this Forerunner stealth ship that I do talk about in this video, so just do keep aware of that and just count this as like an updated review. I actually forgot that I've taken a look at this before, and I feel like this has probably happened with other creations before too, that I've just forgotten that I've taken a look at, and then I end up taking a look at them again. I mean, if you guys ever notice, be sure to tell me down in the comments below, and yeah, let's get right back to it. This here is the Forerunner Stealth Ship, and I do forget the creator of it, but I will of course have their name up here on the screen. So first off, I just want to say that I really, really like the look of this uh, Forerunner Stealth Ship. It looks like something that 343 have actually made themselves. Like, it looks like an actual Forerunner ship that would be in Halo 5, and honestly, it's just, it looks really, really cool. There is a lot of detail in this ship too. As you can tell, I mean, you can just see it. It's got a bunch of objects in it, and it's a pretty big ship too. And yeah, you can tell that the creator definitely wasn't messing around. They've, they've done some work into this, that's for sure. The colours too make it very believable as, you know, it's the exact same sort of colour scheme you would actually see on a Forerunner ship. It'd be cool if Free for Free were to add more... Forerunner related vehicles into Halo actually because Halo 5 you know I don't I don't think there is actually any Forerunner related vehicles in Halo 5 other than the Phaeton and something else or it could even just be the Phaeton I could be right there but yeah there should have been more uh, Forerunner vehicles in my opinion would have been very interesting to see in the game and something like this would be really cool too it'd be cool if you could like uh, use an ability to cloak the ship that would be really cool also, uh, I did actually try to fly it as well by putting a wasp inside of it and trying to get it to fly that way, as this Forerunner stealth ship sadly isn't flyable, but I decided to make it flyable myself, and uh, here's the result of that here. So it's not perfect, the ship doesn't turn at all, and I think it is because I did set the uh, vehicle to a wasp, and because this Forerunner stealth ship is so heavy, it's just, it, it can't turn. So now it's stuck in this position, and yeah, probably using a Banshee would have been better to drive around, but I thought a Wasp would have been better, since, you know, you have more control over a Wasp and how it moves and stuff, so... So overall, I really like this Forerunner Stealth Ship. Uh, I really like the shape of it as well. The shape of it is very convincing and makes it look like an actual, like, in-law Forerunner Ship, and who knows, it probably is. It's probably... it's probably not a custom-made thing. In fact, uh, the creator of this has probably looked at uh, other sorts of vehicles in Halo lore. You know, maybe there is a Forerunner stealth ship and I just don't know. So anyways, guys, uh, what do you think of this creation? And also, if you do know in the comments below, uh, be sure to tell me if this is just like a recreation of something from Halo lore or if it is just a custom-made fan thing. But yeah, good on the creator for making this. Uh, it is very, very detailed. I really like the look of it. The color scheme is great. You know, the detail. It's all really, really good. And so yeah, I'll see you all soon in my next one. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And bye-bye.